Welcome to Roof Sports. In this video, we're gonna go over how to literally always know where to hit the ball in pickleball. I know it seems like a big claim, but there's something that we're doing every time that we could very easily fix if we just pick this one spot when we feel like we're in trouble. One big thing that we tend to do is after points go, man, I really didn't know where to put that ball. You actually did. You were actually thinking about too many things all at once while trying to find the ball, hit the ball, hit the middle of the paddle. Put the ball into the middle of the kitchen. There is nothing anybody can do about a ball that lands here. You will never be attacked from it unless it bounces too high. But this is a safe zone, even if it's rolling into the net. Where it started was a safe zone. So right here in the middle of the kitchen, because this kitchen we can't volley in, remember? We have to let this bounce. So even the tallest and the longest of inspector gadget arms aren't gonna be able to reach that with all that. And that's always there. So specifically, if you come from playing tennis too, sometimes it's hard to think about laying one up right in the middle like that, because you expect your opponent to crash the net and crush you. Can't do that here, here in the non-volley zone, the kitchen. So it is always open, it is always an option. And if you've ever played anybody where you're thinking, gosh darn it, how do I not get it through you ever? They're just taking advantage of that. If you're hitting overheads at them and they're at the baseline and they're just popping them up into there, that ball's gonna bounce a little bit high, but you know what I made sure I did? I made sure I got it over. So my opponents have to hit another one. Meanwhile, instead of when we're pulled wide, we're thinking, oh man, should I try to pass them down the line? Should I try to hook one over here in the middle? What if I skirted them in the middle? Look, if you're pressured and you're moving, your eyes are bouncing and maybe your legs are getting a little sore and you're trying to get there and you're, it's too much to think about all of these things all at once. Your chance of missing it just becomes too great. It just becomes too risky to go for that shot. So what we need to do is just take this ball and put it right in the middle. That is entirely fine. If anything, that got below the net in a hurry, I could have gained a little bit of ground from it. So when I was in a bad spot, we can quickly get out of that bad spot and maybe even into a good spot if we hit this shot really, really well. So from anywhere on the court, no matter where we are, just remember that this is a safe zone. Our opponents are never gonna attack us from here. At best, this thing bounces really high and they take another cut at you. You get a little bit pressured still. But you know what? Hit it again. And let's see if this one doesn't bounce so high. So that's gonna help you if you have a tendency to try to really barely skirt the net. Again, you might be subconsciously thinking about tennis and someone crashing the net on you too. Or you might just be thinking, hey, I know I wanna hit it to people's feet. Their feet are below the net. Let's barely, let's flirt with the net a little bit and barely get it over. But the problem is again, we just miss too much from doing that. We're going from too much and the reward isn't always there when we have a really good option. So speaking of risk and reward, I wanted to invite you to give my office a call for a free second opinion in your investment portfolio. I'm a full-time financial advisor with Edward Jones. I'd be happy to give you a free second opinion on your investments and understand what's most important to you. So. When we're talking about pickleball again, we must make sure that we're not getting too risky for the shot. So say we try to rip one down the line and we get it once, awesome. We try it three more times, our opponent either catches on to it or we miss it. We would have been better off just playing a little bit defensive and hitting it in the middle. So again, we're not barely, barely hitting it over the net. Although that's a good shot. Again, if I start to hit the net with it, it's not a good shot anymore. If we give ourselves room for error and lifting it over, the further we are from the kitchen, the more height we're gonna to wanna to give it. So I only had to do a couple feet over the net when I was closer to the kitchen. Back here, I need to get over that six foot ladder again. Bonus points if we can get a little bit of topspin roll on it too. We have another video on how to hit the topspin roll, hitting it low to high. That allows us to get that same six feet of height, but also get a little bit of that downward momentum and that spin that's gonna bring the ball to our opponent's feet, which again, we know is the most important thing in pickleball, to put the ball on our opponent's feet. Sometimes the net's in the way, sometimes we gotta go a little bit higher over that six foot louder in order to get there, but we always wanna make sure that we can remember that right here, right in the middle, is a safe spot that we can always, always hit in pickleball. So if you don't know where to hit the ball, or if you ever think, gosh, I just didn't know where to put that ball, it just means you're getting pressure right now, totally fine, you're on defense, hit that spot in the middle of the kitchen, and let's move on through the point from there. So thanks again for tuning in to Roo Sports. We appreciate you checking our videos out. If you enjoyed the paddles that you saw in this video, please go to roosports.com and consider purchasing when you find something that you like. They're made with a carbon fiber face to feel, touch, the spin. They're made with a 10 and a half millimeter cord to be maneuverable 
and light so that we have the fast hands that we want when we do a good job of getting up to the kitchen line ASAP. We wanna have the hands to be able to keep up with the ball once we're here, and these paddles are gonna help you do it. So thanks again for tuning in. Please hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Click these two videos in the corners if you're fired up and wanna keep learning. If not, we'll see you in the next one.